Hey, boat friends, we got a great one today. April 15th, around noon central time, we have a thousand footer coming into Superior, Wisconsin. This is the Walter J. McCarthy, also known as Big Walt, sitting completely empty on our way in to load over at BNSF dock, right over in this direction here. We're gonna walk up over to the canal wall and we'll watch her come in, but I wanted to start this video out a little different just giving you a perspective over on the superior side. Typically I start out over at the wall, but as usual, let's start out with AIS. You can see she's moving at about uh, 4.8 knots coming in to superior. She's gonna go by the entry where we're standing here. She's gonna go over to uh, BNSF dock right there. So a real short voyage for her from this point to make it right past us and to the dock. But uh, let me first start out show you a couple cool things that are right in this area. They have a map showing different shipwrecks, really nice observation area. Some people park over in that direction and uh, they're able to walk out all the way on those rocks and make it out to that lighthouse and have a great observation point for these vessels that uh, are coming inbound or even departing. Big parking lot over here where people can park and uh, hang out. These are abandoned homes over here that uh, I'm assuming used to be part of the, you know, the places where the staff would stay that are tending to this area or maybe the lighthouse, not too sure. Here's a plaque that's up here. Pretty interesting. You can find more information about it online, but uh, nice little walkway up. There's also parking over on the side where you can see a vehicle there. Give you a good shot of the docks and uh, the vessels. Very overcast, 40 degrees. We just had a lot of rain here in the Twin Ports, here in Superior, and then over in that direction, Duluth, Minnesota. But I'll take that liquid stuff that is not in the form of ice coming out of the sky any day. And here's the star of the show, Walter J. McCarthy. Again, notice how she is sitting up out of the water, completely empty. Looks like we have a little bit of an outbound current. There's still a little bit of ice that's left, and that's uh, really all that, uh, really that's all that's left in, in this area. There's just a little bit in the inner channel right behind me. <coughs> Excuse me. And... Uh, just a little bit on the on the shore of the lake here, but that should be out of here pretty quick. Let me give you a little information. Walter J. McCarthy, owned by the American Steamship Company. Thousand feet, as I mentioned, 37 hatches, seven cargo holds, two propellers. She went into service in 1977 and was built at uh, the Bay Shipbuilding Company in uh, Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. Originally named the Bell River, she was renamed in 1990 to honor the former chairman of the Detroit Edison Company, Walter J. McCarthy. Four 3,500 horsepower engines, and she also has a 1,500 horsepower bow and stern thruster as well. But a great looking ship. Let me uh, give you a better shot of that superstructure. Where you see those windows at the very top. That is the pilot house, and that's where the captain and uh, the crew members are navigating this vessel right now. You see a couple crew members that are right there on the side of the bow, right there in the middle of the picture. But it's wonderful, all the melting that's been occurring here in the Twin Ports. And uh, I think we're going to be real close to going into that iceless spring shipping season. Let's take a look at uh, what they have for depth right there. 24. You can see those dual anchors. But just easily coasting in. Great looking ship. And I like when they're coming in 
or departing empty because you really get to see the hull of the vessel, the bow, everything is prominently displayed. I see some activity right up here on the, the top of the deck. Looks like a crew member is doing some work. Great looking vessel though. I made a little bit of a drive to come over here to Superior because I don't get to see her too often. She usually is in two harbors, which uh, I mean, I could drive up there, but it's just, you know, I got a lot of the, the ships and uh other vessels coming in through duluth so that's usually what i what i do but always fun to catch them out here in superior it looks like a couple of crew members still talking up there they got plenty of work ahead it looks like they they're using a <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Just gave the crew a thumbs up. That was awesome to get a salute. Uh, I'm assuming the captain sees a couple other people down here that are taking interest in this awesome vessel. But always when we're over here in Superior to get a, a salute, that's a, a bonus treat without a doubt. Again, 1,000 feet in length. Those four 3,500 horsepower engines throttled down, easily coming in. Here's a better perspective of that crew member that was working that uh, piece of machinery on deck. It looks like a hydraulic system over the hatches. Keep your eye on that little bit of the ice flow, a little bit of the ice that's left. A little bit of kick up as this massive vessel is going through the canal. And like I said, she's going to be going over to BNSF dock right in that direction straight ahead. So not far for her to go here. Still surprises me you have the 70 degree temps that we've had in Duluth over the last uh, two, three days. So there's still a little bit of ice left, but that's that's pretty much it. see on the hull of the vessel scrapes and uh, definitely showing that there's been plenty of activity going through the locks and speaking of locks she just came through the locks of Sault Ste. Marie yesterday and uh, made her way safely to the superior entry she did anchor for a, a little bit this morning and was waiting for the Joyce L. Van Ankevort and Great Lakes Trader to depart once they did Engine started up and she started to move again. Let's see if we can make anybody out in that uh, pilot house moving around there. I love those uh, pilot house, uh, the pilot houses on these. Some of these vessels have them, you can see they hang over each side of the, the superstructure, obviously giving the, the crew a better view of what's going on, but it just has a really cool look, almost like a T. Looks like a capital T as you look at that superstructure. She has uh, slowed down to 2.7 knots at this point. We're going to get a good look at the, the stacks. A couple more crew members that I see on deck getting ready for probably a lot of work ahead. Nice to see her go by real slow so we can get a, a good view of every part of this vessel. Overcast sky, but we can't have sun every day, right? That's just life. But it just makes the environment a little different then. So I like that. We don't get the same thing. And as I mentioned, she's usually out in two harbors. So it's fun to see her come in. And when you talk about a ladder, take a look at that ladder. So if you have a ladder in your garage, you don't got anything on the Walter J's ladder. As you can see, that'll let them go all the way down to shore or land if needed as they come up to dock. The 
a better look at that stack pumping right there. We'll get a good look at the stern of the vessel, see what kind of kick up that we're going to see with the, the weight that's being created. It looks like we have that door that's, uh, at least a window that's open. I just saw some light in there as they were going by, letting a little bit of air go in as they're in safe harbor now. I'm going to hold this camera steady. I'm just going to put it down so you can get a better look at how this ice is moving. So I'll stabilize the shot there so you can take a look at what the that ice is doing as it's moving out towards the lake. Definitely picked up the pace since uh, Big Walt entered. Take a look at the depth here. You have uh, another anchor right there on the, the stern, right about the right above the water level there. Now that's a, a legit thousand footer, looks great, empty so she's out of the lake so we can really get a good, good shot of how she looks here. Get one last uh, shot of the name, I think that'd be fun. Big Walt, Walter J. McCarthy Jr. Fun ship. Superior is a fun location too. It's, it it uh, it sprinkles in a little something different. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the area lift bridge. I love Duluth, but uh, checking out ships on Superior as well is uh, is a fun thing to do. And I will get the two harbors. We'll we'll get some cool videos up there as well. But there you go, thousand footer, little overcast, but Walter J. I think is going to bring some sunshine to us here in the Twin Ports as she gets loaded. And uh, we have another thousand footers, a uh, thousand footer in the book, boat friends. And there's probably going to be another one around the corner. So until then, boat friends, I will see you soon.